Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Welcome back to the print production tool. So part one covered basically the first bank of these tools up here. So output preview, conversion of colors, basic editing of objects, and uh, flattening out the document. But today we're going to be covering setting our page boxes, adding our printer marks, fixing some hairlines, and the ink manager, as well as trap presets. So let's get into it. We've looked at set page boxes before, but only in the context of our crop box. So we would click and drag to set our little box that we'd crop, and then we'd set our margins, and then our document would be cropped. But today we're going to be looking at other elements, so the art box, trim box, and the bleed box. These are all terms in printing. Basically, it's important for proper positioning of printer marks, which we'll be adding in just a second, so the printer knows where not to overprint, essentially. So, but just like we do with the crop box, we just have to set our proportions, our margins like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just arbitrarily setting them as half inch, one inch, and two inches. Just so we can differentiate them. So that's how they'll appear in the document, just like that. And using these, using these boxes that we've set, we can then add our printer marks. So over here, we can add some marks so the printer service knows the dimension of the boxes we just set. There's some additional options for page information and color bars at the top of the page. So you can add in all our marks just like that, set our line weight, and we can choose just a style like for, we can make this look like InDesign or Illustrator. But we're just gonna do this for just this current page. It cannot be undone. So this is all the marks that we can have. So for each box, the printer will see these marks and it will adjust accordingly. As I'm not an expert in print production, in printing presses, I cannot tell you specifically what these do, but they are pretty crucial to the printing process and so I shall leave it at that. <laughs> Next up, we have the fix hairlines option. So uh, thin lines can be quite problematic when printing because they might not appear in the final printed piece if they are too thin, so this little tool helps sniff out those thin lines and it'll automatically adjust them to be heavier weight but not too heavy so as to smear or smudge. So if you have a hairline narrower or equal to zero inches, you can replace it with 0.01 inches and you can do that in the whole document wherever you want. Now into the ink manager. So this will not change the values of our colors like the output preview would. That will actually change the values of what the colors are in the document. But the ink manager, this allows control over the inks at the output time. So this will affect how our final product looks without changing the document itself. Lastly, we have trap presets. Now, trapping with regards to printing. Trapping is the process of making sure there's no gaps between different colors of ink in a printing press. So if you have some blue and some red right next to each other, Unless you want to go into overprinting and, you know, some mixing of the inks, there's going to be a little white barrier there separating them. But to fix this little smudge, this is going to inevitably, inevitably lead to some slight overprint. So the trap manager allows you to create some trap presets for a printing press. So this will be custom designed for your particular press, letting you define the trap width, trap placement for images, trap placement and the trap thresholds over here. So I'm not going to create this. So that's how that works. Like I said, I'm not the foremost authority on professional printing of magazines or newspapers, but there are, if you have a LinkedIn Learning account or Linda account, there are some excellent resources on there for people who are involved in the printing process and I would highly recommend you check that out if you're so inclined. But yeah, thanks so much for coming, everybody. Tune in next time for the tutorials on accessibility. And until then, take care.